Breschke and Drake Martinez the most. Tyreek Thompson's been getting some reps as well. Um, those four guys. And the, the challenge has been for the new guys, for Drake and for Tyreek, they have some learning to do. The other guys know it. It's who finishes best, who finishes plays the best. And so is Shane your two Mike right now? Shane Jones? Uh, Shane's been playing two Mike. Byron's been getting a lot of reps, and we know Reschke could jump in there and not miss a beat. But so all his work right now, though, is that? See how he adapts to the money spot. That's yeah, exactly Darian right. And Dow, and Dow, and Dow, and the, uh, Darian and Andrew Dow have been getting most of the reps. Uh, TJ Harrell, since the scrimmage, has stepped up quite a bit, too. Honestly, he was slow leading up to the first scrimmage, but he had a good scrimmage, and he's kept he's kept the intensity going trying to push those guys. How, how do you, you said who finishes the best? I mean, that's, that's I don't want to say coach, but what, what does that mean? I mean, what does that mean? We feel like the money backer spot is a production position, which means this. You should have sacks. You should have TFLs. You should have tackles charted. So if you go straight to the uh, NCAA stats, that position should be a production a production position for us. So that's what I mean by finishing. So with Dowell, does it remind you at all of like Tuan Jones a few years ago? This guy who's physically ahead of a lot of freshmen? You know, he, he actually has a lot more uh, football awareness. Sorry, Tuan, but he, he came in from a very, very, very good high school program, very well coached. Uh, he just has a sense of where to be on the football field, how to find the football even through the mess. Um, He's instinctive as a linebacker, and some guys it takes a long time to get instinctive against this level of offensive line. So he comes in looking like he's played the position for years and years and years. How many freshmen have you had like that who, who have had that sort of understanding right away? We've talked about it a little bit. Um, Greg Jones is the one in our time that we said right away, okay, this guy understands how to find the football. Um, the rest of them, you know, you look at it, and we've had some really good linebackers, most all of which have redshirted, Tawan Jones and, and Greg Jones really being the two exceptions. For you, are you still, is it, is it the magnet to the linebackers kind of thing? Or how, what's it been like this camp being a rover and doing it all? A little bit of a magnet to the linebackers just because I've been in this system for so long with the linebackers. But, you know, I sat in meetings with the defensive line and Coach Burton today. Um, I'm having at least one period every day where I'm either with the defensive tackles or defensive ends. A little bit of time with the defensive backs, but Coach Barnett and Coach D'Antonio have that handled. Is Riley doing the leadership things you want to see, not just the calls, but also the enthusiasm stuff and the, the, the vocal yes, presence? Yes, absolutely. And that's the thing. Riley, a year ago, even when we had Tawan and Ed Davis, we wanted to get Riley on the field because of the leadership and enthusiasm. And because of that, we found a way to get him in our nickel package, for example, just because you needed that guy's energy on the field. He makes a two and a half hour practice go fast, and he it's contagious. You know, we say enthusiasm is contagious, create an academic epidemic, and he, he does that. So, what about the calls? Like, he's saying that he feels pretty second nature with that. I mean, I think probably the standard for that would be max. I mean, where is he on that scale? We have no issues giving him any audibles, any adjustments, any checks by formation, uh, by down and distance, he can do it. We have no second guesses as, as coaches with him. He, he runs the show, no issues. Thanks.